Hi everyone, this is Chris of One Tech Stop, and today I'm taking a look at the Skype preview on Windows 10, both mobile and PC, and its ability to handle your SMS text messages. Uh, the ability to allow Skype to handle your SMS messages came in a recent update. We're now on OS build 14393 and version 1607. Uh, that's required on both mobile and PC in order to use Skype. And yes, PC, because you can now send SMSs through your phone, uh, through your PC, which you could do before with Cortana, but you can now view the entire thread. Uh, which if we bring in our PC here, you'll see uh, this syncs up the same as Skype. There's your Skype preview. And send in messages to and from your phone or PC. They work they work in tandem, which is great. Uh, in order to set Skype as your default messaging app, uh, there's a couple of ways of doing it. You can go to your messaging app here. Go to settings. And just here you have change more settings for messaging. Scroll down and this box at the bottom allows you to select your default app. And what that means, anytime you receive a text message, it will come through Skype. Uh, we'll just send ourselves a little tester here on our PC. And as you see, the notification comes through there. It does also come through on your PC, although. Uh, and just like with the messaging app, you can slide down and just reply off the bat. You can slide down and reply that way. And as you can see on PC, the notification comes up both. And you can also reply there. Uh, we can open our messages there. Now, personally, I do prefer the kind of overall layout of uh, messaging, the original messaging app. Uh, you can change it to a dark setting, but the theme always seems to be this kind of pale green colour, which is quite nice. But personally, I would prefer it to tie in with with your colour preference. As I s Now, with the notifications uh, on Skype, for some reason, uh, you just get this little asterisk, meaning that you don't actually know how many text messages you've received. I have actually missed messages, not realising that more had come through. Now, all is not lost if you do really like the messaging app, which I personally do. I think it's laid out very well. You can still use it, and it still receives text messages. It just doesn't notify you. And I'm taking a look at the PC with Skype on here. Uh, now, for a long time, since the anniversary update, we have had this messaging app just here. And in the insider previews, you were able to send text messages through that. You can, of course, send text messages through Cortana. Uh, and for a long time, I had this, but... Uh, my message threads weren't syncing. Well, now with Skype preview in use, that does at least seem to be working again. Uh, but you still have no option, no ability to send messages from here. So this app here on PC is kind of a bit useless, but even if you go into settings, you used to have an option to pick which device you wanted the messages to be sent through, but now nothing. You can set on your lock screen for Skype notifications uh, to come through, as before. And switching back and forth between Skype preview and messaging is very simple. And now we'll just take a quick look at some of the settings in Skype preview. See, there you go with that annoying asterisk. And 
of course, like I said, you can still send quick replies. And you don't actually need a data connection either to to send messages through Skype, which I think is very good. Obviously, you need a data connection in order to sync it with your PC. If you go to settings down here. Here's your SMS. Uh, so you can set it not to back up and sync your messages. Uh, you can ask it to what messages you want it to download, but I've noticed here it only seems to download from the last few months. But I mean, if we go to my messaging, it doesn't seem to sync all the messages despite being set to all time. And here, as you can see, There's a lot more messages there than you have here. Anyway, this has been Chris with One Take Stop, taking a look at the Skype preview and its handling of your SMS messages. Comments, questions are always welcome. And subscribe for more videos. Take care.